came out 31, I had a request for number 49. And so for number 49, they start us out with this equation here. And they tell us that the W is the variable of weight. And then they, well, and I should say specifically weight in kilograms. And then they tell you that the H variable represents height and the units for that variable are centimeters. And if we look at the setup for number 49, they told us that we had a male who was 177 centimeters tall. So that's gonna be my H value. And whose BSA was 2.1. All right, and that's body surface area. So these are the constraints that I was given here. So let me just change the color here. So I was given this and given this, right? So I was given the height of this male and I was given his body surface area and I was asked to solve for the weight. So we wanna figure out what is the weight of this particular male who's 177 centimeters tall and has a body surface area of 2.1. So what I'm gonna to do to solve this is I'm gonna plug these numbers into my equation. So I'm gonna plug in the H right up top here and the BSA over here. And that's how you see me getting to this equation. All right, I plugged in 2.1 for the BSA and 177 for the height. And then what I'm left with solving for is this weight. And because that weight is under a square root symbol, the first thing I'm gonna to do to both sides of that equation is square both sides, all right? And when I square both sides, well, if you plug into your calculator 2.1 squared, you're gonna arrive at 4.41. When you have a square root and a squaring, they undo each other, and the only thing that survives is what we call the radicand, all right? And if you hear me talk about a radicand, all right, it's the stuff, the technical term stuff, underneath the radical. So again, when you have a square root and a square, they cancel each other out and the only thing that survives is the radicand and that's what you see me push in to this step right down here. And again, I still want to solve for W. All right, so if I want to solve for W, let me put some eraser here just so we can start to talk about what to do. I have a fraction, so the first thing I'm gonna do is multiply both sides by the LCD. I'll multiply both sides by 3,600. This is gonna cancel here, and on my calculator, oops, excuse me, if I do 3,600 times 4.41, I arrive at 15,876. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna divide both sides by 177. And when I divide both sides by 177, these are gonna cancel. And when I crunch that number on my calculator, I get to 89.69, you can see it repeats that way. And then I just rounded it to the nearest kilogram because that was what the direction said. If you look at the directions in 49, it said find the weight to the nearest kilogram. So here's the exact weight, but because this is a six, I'm gonna round this up to 90 kilograms. All right, so there's number 49. Thanks so much. Bye.